There's a scene in the Lord of the Rings where Bilbo first, or Frodo actually, first meets Gollum. And he says, what a pity that Bilbo didn't stab that vile creature when he had the chance. Pity, says Gandalf. It was pity that stayed Bilbo's hand. Pity and mercy not to strike without need. That's why Bilbo was not harmed by the ring, because he began his possession of it with pity. Oh, I can't understand you, says Frodo. Gollum deserves death. Deserves it, I dare say he does. Many that live deserve death, and some that die deserve life. Can you give it to them? Then do not be too eager to deal out death and judgment, for even the wise cannot see all ends. And what was the end? It was actually Gollum that destroyed the evil ring. So do you allow your enemy to plant evil thoughts in your heart and mind? Do you allow your enemy to plant an entire garden in your mind? If you do, then evil triumphs. Do you pine in anguish over the wrong that was done to you and make it a very present experience every day? Does your heart seek revenge? Is your present life shriveled and dry and cold because of some offense in the distant past? Does your heart still long to see them suffer for them to feel your pain? Do not take revenge. God says, vengeance is mine, I will repay. 